I mean, I can't imagine that somebody would have to pay $1.4 million for not showing up for a speeding ticket. Connor Cato was driving home on September 2nd when he was pulled over by Georgia State Patrol for driving 90 in a 55 mile per hour zone. Connor says he knew he was going to get a super speeder ticket, which in Georgia means an extra $200 is added to speeding tickets, but he did not know the amount would be as high as it was. $1,480,032.51. So you called the court after seeing that number, of course, and what did the courts tell you? The, the lady told me on the phone, I, I told her, this might be a typo, I don't know, I'm not sure, and I told her the amount it was. And she said, no, sir, that's the correct amount. You either pay the $1.4 million or appear in court on December the 21st at 1.30 p.m. Local criminal defense attorney Snay Patel tells us he's never seen anything like this before. I mean, at first, when I was called about this, I thought it would be a clerical error, but I know you followed up, and apparently it's not a clerical error. So, again, I mean, that's, I've never seen something like this, ever. Patel says you never pay over the maximum amount for traffic violations and misdemeanor charges in the state of Georgia can only go up to $1,000. The maximum for a misdemeanor is $1,000. If it's a misdemeanor of high and aggravated nature, the maximum would be $5,000. Now, the bond amount should be sort of kind of rel relative to that. So for misdemeanors, you wouldn't see bond amounts more than $5,000 if in some cases, in extreme cases, maybe 10,000 or so, just to ensure that if, say, if it's a crime that involves some sort of violence or if you're anticipating that somebody could uh, commit more crimes, you would set a higher amount, or if you have any indication that they may not show up for court, you set up a higher amount, but not 1.4 million. I mean, that's something that goes into cases that are drug trafficking or murders or aggravated assaults, something of that nature. You we did hear back from the city of Savannah late this afternoon. A representative tells us the balance reflected on the e-ticket is not the actual amount of the fine, it's a placeholder because all super speeders are required to appear in court. That enforceable fine is set by the judge when the defendant appears in court and the penalty can't be more than $1,000 plus state fees. Now why did someone put $1.4 million in the placeholder for Connor? Well, we're working on getting the answer to that question, too. To see the city's full response, visit the article on WSAV.com. Tyler Nicole, WSAV News 3, on your side. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.